What is going on YouTube? Today we have another XNY Wi-Fi battle. Today we're up against Wade Wilson and I'm bringing back the same team that I have in my previous battles because it's a good team. It's a solid team. I got my hazards up, I got my spinner, and then I got a little miniature rain and I got a mega. So it's a good balanced team. And uh, looking at Wade's team, he has one hell of a team too. Uh, I see that Espeon and once I look at that Espeon, I don't want to lead off with my Galvanchal anymore. I do not want to lead off with Megaplanchal, even though Megaplanchal does have Bug Bus to attack that Espeon, but yeah, I'm fearing his team, I'm really fearing this, really, especially that Hitmonlee. I love seeing Hitmonlee, not just because it's rare, but um, that Unburdened Boost Hitmonlee can be such a huge problem. So he leads off with his Greninja, and uh, I led off with my Zubat, and why did I lead off with my Zubat? Because I know I can outspeed it, and I can kill it. Honestly, Noivern is a good Greninja counter. Uh, if Greninja is not Choice Scarf, Noivern always has the upper hand. Uh, with Life Orb or Choice Specs, Drago Meter is always a guaranteed 100% one-hit KO. So uh, yeah, unless you miss your Draco Meter, you always kill that Greninja. So that's why I led off with my Noivern. So now he decides to lead off with his Iron Calves, and I don't want to get faked out. Not yet, just not yet. I know it's gonna hurt, so I'm just gonna send out my Nom, my Mega Model, to drop his attack. So this fake out will literally do nothing. And it's revealed that he doesn't even have the uh, white gem. White gem? Normal gem. Yeah, he doesn't have the white normal gem. So he's fearing that play rough. So uh, he is gonna switch out. So it's a good opportunity for me to hit up that Mega Evolution, that three headed monster, Mega Mawau, and go for the Sword Dance. Easy, clean Sword Dance. And that's exactly what I do. So I'm at plus two now. Things are looking pretty scary over here. You don't wanna fuck with Gnome. He's gonna Gnome your ass. So. Togekiss does reveal he has, she has the uh, flare, flamethrower, but unfortunately for him, I do live it, so I am going to finish off this Togekiss with an easy uh, Iron Head coming from a Mega Mawa. So now, uh, Wade will send out back his Iron Calves, and um, he goes for a fake out, but I know it won't do too much since he doesn't even have an Iron ge uh, normal jam or anything. So he goes for a Bullet Punch. And fortunately, it will take me out. So, oh well, it's okay. Even though it's a mega, you can't too, you can't expect your megas to shine the battles all the time. So now I spend out my Zubat because I know I can outspeed it and hit him up with that Hurricane, and he knows that too. So he is gonna have to switch out into his Ska. It is um, man, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Pharaoh Thorn. How can I forget about Pharaoh? I have my own, and I do a pretty good amount, almost half, like 49%. So, um, I do have a secret weapon hiding in the back with my Zubat, and it is the flamethrower, that's right. So it will easily take out this Ferrothorn since Hurricane did so much. Um, it's a shame that Norman can't learn Fire Blast, I don't know why. I honestly prefer Fire Blast over Flamethrower, but whatever. Next, sends out his magic. So, I just try, you know what, let's just see how much my Draco Meteor can do, because honestly, this x man can't do too much to me anyway, so... Yeah, before I die, let's just see how much I can do, and um, this is a pretty decent amount, it's like 95%, and uh, it's revealed that this SBN does have the Dazzling Gleam, so of course it does take me out, so it was kind of foolish of me to think that it didn't have anything for me, but of course it did, why else would he send it out, right? So now I can just send out my Horton to kind of um, chase it away, or just simply kill it with an Ice Shard, and um, he didn't switch out, so yeah, sucks to be you. So I do finish it off with a nice cold ice shard. So now he sends out his Crimson Fist, a Scizor. Huge powerful threat here. He's gonna go straight up for the Swords Dance and um, I knew that. So I didn't want him to um, you know, set up or anything. So I don't want him to get a free Swords Dance. So I'm just gonna use my Earthquake and that did a pretty good amount. So he goes for the Bullet Punch and that also did a good amount but it's not gonna kill me. So yeah, haha, uh -huh. nice try there. Maybe an Iron Head, maybe an Iron Head could have killed, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But um, next, he has to send out his Hitmonlee again. Just to be clear, this Hitmonlee is not carrying the normal gen, so it's not an unboard, unburdened Hitmonlee. So, um, go for my uh, Ice Shard because, well, he's gonna kill me with a high jump kick, so I have no choice. Just to, you know, get as much damage as possible. It's all good here. 14, you big fat tire, you've done so much, I'm so proud of you. So, now. I know I can at least take one high jump kick coming from this Hitmonlee with my Polytoke, so I can just 
hit him up with the surf. He's there's no way he can possibly live a choice back surf in the rain. So he does hit me. He does land it. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna surf him up, send him down to the waves, and uh, I get a nice critical hit too. But of course that critical hit does not matter. So there you have it. Thank you, Wade Wilson, for bringing such an excellent team. I love seeing new Pokemon such as Hitmonlee. It's always a pleasure fighting new Pokemon. So thank you so much. If you guys like this battle, please leave a like. Like for Wade. Don't even like for me. Just like it for him. And uh, comment and subscribe for more X and Y Wi-Fi battles. Thank you so much for watching.